Mr Speaker, we currently have no plans to reschedule psilocybin to Schedule 2 of the Misuse of Drugs Regulations. The Advisory Council on the Misuse of Drugs has recently published Stage 1 of its advice on reducing barriers to research with controlled drugs. Uh, we will consider the advice, including its implications for psilocybin, carefully before responding. Crispin Blunt. Um, thank you, Mr Speaker. Does my right hand friend understand the emerging potential of the psychedelic class of drugs uh, with psilocybin to the fore to treat depression, trauma and addiction? Now, some of this science was emerging in the 1960s, um, before our current drugs laws closed it down. Last year, or in 2019, 90,503 of our fellow citizens were driven to suicide by their depression or trauma or whose rock bottom in addiction uh, has been death. If there is any uh, scale of potential for these drugs, and it appears that there is, any further delay in getting the science and the research gain is not defensible. In fact, it's a morally disgraceful abrogation of our duty to the public good. Well, Mr Speaker, as a founder of the All Party Group on, on Life Sciences, I am well aware uh, of the potential of any number of compounds uh, to assist us um, in the constant battle against mental and physical illness and the need for this country to lead um, in research that might alleviate the problem not just here um, but in the rest of the world. Uh, but the Honourable Gentleman will know um, that in particular where it comes to rescheduling of uh, particular compounds, we do so where medicines are approved on the advice of the MRHA and of the ACMD. Um, he will know, for example, that in June last year uh, we did place Epidiolex, which is a cannabis-based medicine used to treat certain forms of epilepsy in Schedule 5 to the Misuse of Drug Regulations, following exactly that sort of advice. Uh, there are ongoing trials and research studies into psilocybin taking place into the UK, um, and while a medicine has yet to be licensed by the MHRA, if and when it is, we will consider rescheduling. Thanks, Mr. Speaker. Uh, just to catch up on what was said there, could the Minister actually tell me what research the UK Government is basing its current policy regarding psilocybin on, and can that research be made available? Well, Mr. Speaker, the research has been undertaken in a number of um, academic uh, institutions, as far as I'm aware, and I'm happy to dig out the detail of where specifically I don't have it to hand it is being researched. But it's worth reinforcing. Uh, Mr. Speaker, that the process uh, for the rescheduling of compounds is that um, approval is given for a medicine by the MHRA. Uh, advice is then taken from the ACMD as the rescheduling, as we did do uh, with Epidiolex. And as soon as those medicines are um, approved by the MHRA for, for use, I would be happy to consider rescheduling.